I hope I'm live. Yeah, okay. This is Essie, and I'm coming on at 7.41 p.m. on Tuesday, August 10th, 2021, and I just felt led to say a prayer. Um, it's been a while since I did this separately. Um, I just felt led to say a prayer, amen, and um, I hope you say a prayer with me. Um, there's been a lot of prayer requests lately and things that are going on in the world. And I honestly think that we need to start staying in prayer. Um, I hope you feel the same way. Amen. Speak to God, talk to God every chance that you get. He's there. He's listening. Amen. God loves to hear us pray. God loves our voices. So I'm going to go ahead and start praying right now. And I also pray that you pray with me as I'm praying. Amen. And and bring your prayers up to the Lord while I'm on this platform right now praying. Amen. Father God, we adore you. We worship you. We praise you. We lift up our voices to you tonight in the name of Jesus Christ, covered by his blood. I speak right now, Lord, to you. And for all the households that are represented here, those that come on any prayer as well, I speak for them as well. I lift up all their prayers to you. We thank you, Father, for the things that you've done for us, the way you took care of us, the way you spoke up for us and fought our battles, the way you teach us, the Holy Spirit that teaches us. We thank you for that. There is so much going on around the world, Father God, that we want to lift up to you right now. There are people who are lonely, who need someone to talk to. We lift them up to you right now, Father God. We lift up the widows and we lift up the orphans. We lift up the children all around the world that need someone to love them and show them that they care. We lift up the people, Father God, who may be turning their backs against Jesus Christ those that are depressed and oppressed and they're about ready to give up, Lord God. There are some who already have. We're praying that they were saved, Father God. But for those who haven't yet, we're lifting them up to you. We're lifting up people who are lonely, people who are oppressed, people who are depressed, people who are harassed and have been bullied. We lift up the people right now who think that there's nothing left in their lives. We're lifting up the people who feel like there is no hope. I ask you, Father God, in Jesus' mighty matchless name, that you send someone to them to talk to them about your son, Jesus. Send someone to them who lets them know that they are not alone, who lets them know that they are loved. There is a God in heaven who loves them dearly. Let people know that you love them dearly. Send people to them, Father God, who will stop them from doing what the devil wants them to do. We bind Satan in Jesus' holy name. He has no authority over your people, over your children. We pray for those who haven't accepted Jesus yet. We pray for their souls, Lord God. We pray that they decide to accept your son as their savior. Father God, right now we're praying for those who are going through different types of sicknesses. There's so many that it doesn't even make sense to begin to name them because the devil is working hard to break hearts. He's working hard to make people lose hope. He's bringing on sicknesses to them. And right now we bind, we rebuke and bind each and every sickness, each and every infirmity that tries to come up against your people, Father God, that tries to take hope away from them, that tries to take their strength, drain their strength out of them. You told us in your word, Father God, be bold and to be strong for the Lord thy God is with thee. And right now I'm praying that people become more strong, people get more strength from the Holy Ghost that's already in them. Father God, I'm praying favor 
in the name of Jesus over all of your kings and queens, over all of your royalty that you have down here on this earth. I'm praying favor to them, quick favor. As Mark says in the word, immediately, immediate favor in their lives so quickly. Bless them so quickly, Lord God, that people get, the devil just gets lost. He doesn't know what's happening. Work on your people quickly, Father God. Bring back those that need to be brought back. Jesus, you went back for one. You said a good pastor will go back for one. Not looking for numbers, not trying to be famous, but trying to find that one that is lost. And we deliver, we bring them to you right now. We, we are bringing them to the throne right now, Father God. For those that are suffering in their bodies, those that are suffering in their minds, their spirits, their souls are crying out, help me. They're crying out, help me. And some people are just lost. They don't know what to do, Father God. Some people have lost their strength. We pray strength for them. We pray for people who suffer lack. You are a, you are a God of richness. You are a God who blesses his children. You tell us so many times in your word, ask. In Jeremiah 33, 3, you said, ask. Amen. You say it all throughout the Bible, ask, and I will show you things. So we're asking right now, Father God, that you put a strong spirit in the people who have fell for the lie of poverty. Our Jesus was not poor. From the time he was born, from the time he was a baby, Jesus was not poor. And he doesn't want his people to be so poor that they can't afford anything in their lives. You, he wants us to look good, to represent the kingdom of God, to represent him. And I pray right now in the name of Jesus that your people rise up and realize that it's not about what, what media says it's about. It's not about what television shows says it about. It's not about ma what magazines say it's about. It is about worshiping the king that has the crown on his head. A crown on his head. A royal diadem that they should be wearing as well. And it's up to us to take, just like the, the apostles and the disciples in the Bible, it's up to us to take care of one another. The world is sitting back watching us. And we are not poor. And I pray that all of your children, Father God, begin to denounce lack in Jesus' name. It is an evil spirit. Lack is not of you. Blessings and honor is of you. Joy in the Holy Ghost, Father God, is of you. Happiness in the mornings is of you. Feeling so good that you know something somewhere was, was healed is of you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Understanding is of you. Patience is of you. Hallelujah. Amen. And Sister Stacy just said, diabetes, we bind you in Jesus' name. You have to go now. Hallelujah. Go now. You have no, uh, no, no reason to be in God's people, you diabetes, you kidney disease, you heart issues, you depression, and all of you demons and devils cannot stay in the same place as the Holy Ghost of our Most High God. You will have right now to leave and never come back. You won't come back. Father God, 
cause us to begin to hear testimonies of people who are healed. Cause your people to start telling people what you've done for them. Jesus. Cause a tsunami of testimonies to come across the airwaves. Hallelujah. Father God, in Jesus' name, bless your children so much that the devil knows there's nothing else he can do with them. It's too late. It's too late. Amen. He loves it when he thinks that we're under his thumb. He loves it when he thinks he has the best of our attention. Cause your people to get their attention off of all of these platforms more than the Bible. Jesus. And cause your people, cause people that when they look into the word of God, they're reading Jesus on print. When they look into the word of God, the Holy Spirit will begin to reveal things to them. They'll begin to learn things on their own. Just them and the Holy Spirit. And then they can go to man to learn more. Just like Achilla and Priscilla did, the, the, the wife and husband couple, they taught one who knew the Bible well, but they wanted to teach him a more better way. Cause your people to run into those like Aquila and Priscilla that will teach them a better way to deliver the word, a better way to understand the word. Send understanding to your people. Amen. And lastly, in this prayer, Father God, we are lifting up our countries and our government. There's so much going on in government, high government, lower government, small government, big government. We don't care. The, the enemy has taken over those, Father God, that you put in charge over us. And he's running rampant. And people are cheating other people. They're lying other people. People who, people who are, amen, Sister Stacy, he's a, he's a loser, was and always will be. Amen. People are believing in the, in the government. People are believing in those over them, but it's getting, gotten to the point where they are so corrupt, we don't know, can't trust anybody anymore. The only one left that we can trust in is you, Jesus. Please, you. We are so happy we are so satisfied. Cause people, Jesus, to be satisfied with you only. Nothing else. They don't need anything. Cover themselves and their households with your blood, the blood of Jesus. We praise you. We thank you. We adore you. We worship you. We love you. We concentrate on you. We pray to you. Jesus, I thank you for all that you've done for me and my family. I thank you for all that you've done for the people in the family of God, in your family, all of us. <laughs> Hallelujah. I pray strength over everyone. Thank you for us being able to come to you whenever we want however we want, and know that we know that we know that we are blessed. And everything else, the Bible is the truth, the word of God. Everything else is a lie. <laughs> Amen. Everything else is a lie. Thank you, Jesus. So I just wanted to take out this time. I thank you for laying it on my heart just to say this simple prayer. No special words, no dictionaries. Just my open heart to you on this beautiful, beautiful evening. Bless everybody that came on to listen. Whether they came on now, Pastor Pat, God bless you. Hallelujah. Look, Lord, look, look at your children. <laughs> look, they love you. Yes, Lord, you are more than enough. A God of more than enough. Hallelujah. 
Brother Ed, Pastor Stacy, hallelujah. God, you are more than enough. We don't need anything else. Amen. We want to get everything we can from you so that we can give to others around us who may not be as strong, others around us who may think that they're losing hope and they don't know how to hang on. Teach us so that we can teach others. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, bless everybody on here, Lord, and their households. Hallelujah. Just for coming on because they knew they was going to hear a little something, something from Essie about their father. Hallelujah. Our father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will, not our will, your will be done on earth right now as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread hallelujah father god you gave bread to the israelites manna manna which meant what is it they didn't even know what it was they didn't know what to call it you do the same for us bless us so much lord god that we won't even know what to call it. There will be no title, no name. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' holy name, I pray. Amen. And amen. Amen. Just like Pastor Stacy, you said, please, God, heal our land. If my people who are called by my name you guys know that scripture, right? Amen. We have to do what God tells us to do, to be blessed. There are too many people looking for microwave, microwave blessings. We have to follow God's will, not our own. Then we'll be blessed. Amen. I thank all of you for coming on. I just wanted to say a little prayer. Just a little quick prayer. I, I just felt led to do so, and I hope you do the same. Amen. Don't worry about what people say, who likes it, who don't like it. Just pray. Amen, because God is good. And, 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 and as I always tell people, and I've been saying a lot lately, it's true, because we can. Because we can. You are a child of the Most High God. And if he tells you to do something and somebody tries to stop you, trust that he will stop them before they can stop you. Amen. God will stop your enemies. Your enemies can't get over on you. And, 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 and when you start singing, and when you start praising the Lord, it's in the, it's in the Old Testament so many times when the singers began to sing and they began to praise the Lord, God did what? He put in ambushments upon their enemies. And this is what happens when you, uh, hallelujah, Jesus. When you praise God, when you worship God, put him first, God will put ambushments on your enemies and they will eat each other up until they are no more. Amen? Amen. So praise him. <laughs> I, 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 okay. If you if you could, I always say if you can carry a tune, that's good. If you can't carry a tune, that's good. God, sing. God wants to hear you. Amen. Reverend Stacy said, "You, I'm gonna call you Reverend Stacy." Amen. Hallelujah. I know she said, "You are loved." She said, "You are loved." Hallelujah. Amen. Go out and tell everybody else. This is a the world is. I want to say this is a sad, sad world. In the flesh, this is a sad, sad world. And we need to go out and tell people that they are loved and tell them to worship God. Pastor Pat Cherry just said worship is key. Worship is key. It's very important. It's imperative. Whatever those dictionary words you want to use, worship is key. Change happens for you when you worship. Amen. Amen. God will. <laughs> Hallelujah. Well, well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming on. 
God is good. Don't let anything get you down. If you don't feel good, you wake up and you don't you feel a little uh, uh, you know off kilter for the day. Just stay to yourself and pray, and God will make it all right. Amen. Just don't don't try to handle too much because the devil's busy. If you don't feel right, something's going on. Amen. Oh, I gotta turn my ring off. It might cut off my. There we go. If you don't feel good, just 